Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker and today what we're going to be doing uh, apparently off center is putting the ECU back into the Z900 RS. You won't be looking at me for long, don't worry. Um, just back from tuning by Ivan's Performance, who did put a sticker on the ECU in there. Um, and I'm going to show you the way that I uh, actually removed this while I'm replacing it. And I do think it's better than some of the options that I have seen online. Um, I'm not a fan of some of the options that I've seen online. So really all you will actually need to do for this is remove these two bolts here from the under tray, which I'll show you in a second and uh, also two screws holding uh, a component in but i'll show you all that when we get over here looking in here so let's have a look trying to keep this one short and sweet to show you just how easy this is and that you do not need to make any cutting modifications um because i really don't uh, actually agree with said cutting modifications so uh what you're looking at here is i took out two bolts from the under tray which i think are located so they're like here and here okay under here so if you look at the frame right these two points there okay that's that's where they take out when you do that you can actually push the entire plastic base down okay a lot of people i've seen cut these two tabs here in order to pull this ecu out easier i'm, I'm telling you you don't need to do that please don't do that uh, <laughs> you really really don't need to do it and i don't think uh personally i don't think you should do it then you will also need to uh dismount um this guy right here just so you can push it out of the way to get space to get the ecu in so that's that's pretty much it that those two those two bolts uh go right here from this and those are two silver um phillips heads so this is the bolt that you'll remove uh, from that under tray section okay and then this is the the bolt that you'll remove from right on up here a little plastic screw removal is is the opposite of of putting it back in it's going to be easier putting it back in because obviously i have push behind me but essentially all you need to do like i said move this out of the way kind of wriggle that in there and then push down on the plastic and it will pretty much slide into where you need it to be these two hooks here uh, do line up with the two tabs on the rubber so essentially we're going to push that down. Where this might become an issue is in future years, like 20 years from now, pushing down on this plastic might not be great. But that's it. We're back onto our hooks. One, get onto this hook. Come on, hooky. Uh, I did also lubricate these hooks with red, red rubber grease. And that's it. That's the ECU back on. We'll plug in our plugs, ECU plug one home, and ECU plug two home. Then what we'll need to do is just kind of remount this, go oh, get back on there. So, and don't worry, I'm not gonna stop this halfway through. We're gonna put all these bolts back on, and we're gonna check uh, the key in the ignition, and put the battery back in and check the key in the ignition to make sure it all works. We're going to put these two guys back in here and you want to turn that counterclockwise because it's into plastic until it falls into its until it oh no i advise anyone who does work on these things uh, get yourself a little grabber magnet because i'm telling you it'll save you <laughs> a lot of pain and suffering over the years and then the second one Probably should have put the second one in first, to be honest. And that is that. Remounted. Easy peasy. And then these two uh, black bolts that sit in underneath the frame, uh, these are five millimeter Allens. And that's one back in and then I put the other one in. The reason this is something so close to my heart is because I've seen people damage the jacket um, essentially on this. They literally cut that rubber tab and it's just so unnecessary. And I've seen this on lots of forums for the Z900 RS. Um, it's just time saving, they say, for taking the ECU in and out. I mean, yeah, okay, it's time saving, but 
you literally need to take out these two bolts here and those two screws and you can slide this in and out to your heart's content. Especially once you have um, the two actual tabs lubricated with a bit of red rubber grease or something. That's it, that's it dealt with forever, you know what I mean? Um, I just, I don't see the sense in damaging something to save what, like this video is six minutes long. You're saving yourself probably two, three minutes because I'm making a video and it still took me that long. And that's it, that's the ECU back in. It's, it's that easy to take out. The two bolts directly under here, which I'll cut into the video, and these two here, which I will also cut into the video. Obviously, it's up to you. At the end of the day, it's your bike, but I personally do not understand why you would, uh, would damage it for, for, for 10 minutes. Let's get the battery back in here. So like I said, at the end of the day, it is completely up to the individual. Um, but this video is so far recording for eight minutes and 22 seconds, and that's the ECU back in. And like I said, it is literally that quick uh, to take out. So let me just grab my seat. So this is kind of a finalized thing. I actually have had this bike apart for a few days, so it'd be nice to get it back in there. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's see, does the dash turn on? This is also, a first for me, by the way. Because I do not know. Is this going to work? I have not actually started it since I got the ECU back, we'll say. So let's see. Lights turn on. Sounds relatively happy. I kind of want to give it a little quick start. Let's give it a little quick start. This is gonna be loud. That's all you get. Uh, you have to actually watch the exhaust install video for the full, the full start up and, and whatnot. I'm not sorry. Uh, but that's it, Ivan's ECU install. Um, we'll finish up the video and we'll talk a little bit more about it. No, I'm, I was actually just kidding. I would have left it run, but I forgot. I, I just remembered that I had not yet uh, wiped down the whole exhaust with some brake cleaner or, or alcohol or whatever else. So I just wanted to turn it off before it got hot. Um, that, so yeah, Ivan, Ivan's ECU. Um, obviously I can't tell you is it worth it yet. Uh, the bike turned back on, so I mean, Clearly he did something. What it is, is I'll put it on screen now. So I put it in a k and air filter, uh, Delkovic uh, headers, and obviously the Ivan's performance tune. And we have also put in brand new spark plugs, just as part of that, but you don't need to do that. And you can see the gains that you, could, you, you should see on screen now. That was for the total price of $350 for the tuning and it cost about $34 return ship from him, and then it would cost me about $36 to send it out to him. I used UPS, he sent it back with FedEx. All in all, it is Tuesday today. I sent it last Friday. I sent it on Friday and it's back today. So it's a really quick turnaround. <laughs> and I mean, uh, Ivan, had, Ivan called me uh, the day it got there. He had it all finished the day it got there and, and, and on the road back here. So. Um, from a customer service perspective, big props. From a performance perspective, obviously I can't test the bike right now. Uh, it is, it's too late. And also I'm still not 100%, so I don't really want to risk that. Plus I do need to do uh, the front fork springs. That's the last job on this bike uh, to get it to be the Uber Z. Um, and obviously the Sa Sato, Sato racing rear sets, but they're, they probably won't be done in time for the, hopefully the first track day I do. Um, they are a longer term goal, uh, but we will get there for sure. Uh, obviously, one thing I will be doing is checking for exhaust leaks, just because I didn't use much sealant anywhere. So if I do need to pull it back apart a little bit and put on exhaust sealant, um, I will do that. But uh, so far, so good. I didn't see or hear anything obvious. Um, but I will do that like uh, with a, some form of smoke test or something. I don't know how I'll figure that one out yet, but I will be looking to do that. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to do Ivan's performance mods, that's how easy it is to take out the ECU and put it back in. Please don't cut anything. You don't need to. It's that easy. 
It's, it's genuinely that easy. Just take out those two bolts, push them down, slip it out, job done. It's, it's that easy. And yeah, if you watched this far, thank you very much for watching. Um, as always, a special thank you to all of my patrons. I really do appreciate your support and I hope uh, at least, well I know Monkey Butt is looking forward to seeing this thing out in the track, so probably because he wants to ride it and when he visits he's more than welcome to. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's it. I don't have anything else. So if you've watched this far, thank you very much for watching. Pretty quick video. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, yeah, until next time, adios. Outro crew. I don't know, can you tell, but I'm a little bit excited about how that sounds. <laughs> it's not quiet, um, but I mean, it wasn't definitely loud either. So definitely, definitely looking forward to getting this thing up and running and out in the road and seeing how it sounds out in the road. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty excited, pretty excited, pretty excited. Are you excited, Outro Crew? That's the real question. What's, what excites you most? What mod do you like most on bikes? What is it? Let me know. Let me know down in the, the comments by Outro Crew.